friends, we're going to play some Galactic Air. Galactic Air comes out on Thursday. Galactic Air comes out on Thursday, I believe. The lovely folks over at Brightwell Games have provided yours truly with a key to go and... Yeah, yeah, yeah! Um, yours truly with a key to go and check out this, this game. Um, we played it as part of Steam Next Fest. Not the last Steam Next Fest, but the one before that? Or the one two before that? Hang on, I still have all my my next best videos for some strange reason. Um, no, I don't. No, I don't. I got rid of half of them. Um, so I think it was like two... I want to say like two cycles of next best games ago. We, um, we checked it out. Um, and it was bloody brilliant. So... I want to play it now. I want to talk about the settings for a second. Um, there is Twitch integration, which we have integrated. Um, we also have um, there's a UI and accessibility thing. We can go slow, standard, or fast. We also have um, the subtitle size. We can take it up to 200%, or we can leave it at 100. Also with the tooltip sizes as well. Given the given the nature of um, the streaming thing, we may change it up um, a little bit if it, everything if, is. If everything is really tiny, we may change it up, but those are accessibility options that we have at the moment, which are decent for a management sim. I'd like to see some color changes in there potentially, but good start. So let's jump into it. Chapter one, orientation. Greetings, director. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your appointment. Ms. Orion and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Ms. Orion is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? Okay. Okay. I did not realize that there was, it was voice acted. That is going to save my voice. A lot. <laughs> Incredible. Cause I got live later. Chapter one, orientation. I'm going to do it anyway. Listening before you and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth is Galactic Air's newest high orbit station and your first hospital. I'm Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galactic Air's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare as we strike out amongst the stars. Soon, patients from all throughout the solar system will darken our halls bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Many bots on standby, Director. Before then, Ms. Orion wishes to fire the starting gun personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. Ooh, um, ah, and there she is. So before I, before I jump further into this, um, Crispy and I, um, uh, my very, very good friend Crispy Tatar and I, have this thing where we find games that are similar to other games and put space and that put space in front of it. And um, when we both saw Galactic Air, our DMs were um, full of us just screaming space theme hospital to each other. Um, in the same ilk that we referred to Stranded Alien Dawn as a little bit like Space Banished. Um, we got very excited about this being Space Team Hospital. Um, is this be Space Team Hospital? It has all the hallmarks of being Space Team Hospital. It has all the humour of Space Team Hospital. Um, I am, I am so excited about this. I have played this before. I played this as part of when it was part of Steam Next Fest. It comes out on Thursday, um, Katet. So we're gonna, um. We're gonna go through some of the bits that we've we've probably played already, but um, 
uh, it, it comes out, this is the full release of the game. I, Bright Rock, have very, very kindly provided me with an um, early review key, and I am so freaking excited about this game. <laughs> So excited about this game. Um, incoming calls. Incoming calls will wait indefinitely. Take your time to answer them when you're ready to continue. Some characters may react to waiting in unexpected ways. The prompt at the bottom right of your user interface will answer her call. There's no rush. Contacts will wait for you to answer. Okay, we'll answer. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Moshi Moshi Director. And welcome to Galacticare. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, I'm not one for all this nitty gritty management stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab. So that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, Heel. Thank you, ma'am. Director, let's start with a particularly fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Yes, we'll be panning, you love rotating, calibrating. and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, mind you. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives yeah. should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken, and it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at us go, spinning around like a gyro. I feel it's vaguely standard. Ill. It's standard now, something controls. Something else I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's Where do first people come place in? a reception okay. desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I've highlighted the menu in which you will find said desk. Do we do a double? Yeah, it's standard the standard usual controls. While vast empty spaces are oddly captivating, we do occasionally need to build the guy. things in order My to My guy, give me a second! A reception desk in this case. Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. Okie dokie. The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Meaty also, bodies. tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Okay, cool. Minimum room size, three out of three, diagnosis desk and a drone readout. Love to see it. Let's get that diagnosis room up and running. Roger if you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives and I'll help to point you do in the right three direction. Do by four, because... Wonderful. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place the a healthcare. door and then the room's required objects. Oh, In Jesus. the case of diagnosis, okay. we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. Potted plants are all the rage at the moment. Not my cup of tea, personally. Now, a replica of an XTC 5000 block engine. Well, my word, director, I'm near satisfaction from the thought alone. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired footprint, and click build to confirm. You bet your butts I'm decorating this room. Um, a rug? Can we get a rug in here? What about a nice... The room upgrade. Put a plant in the corner? Yeah, we can. Wall plants! Room is well decorated. Optional add a room upgrade. Oh, room themed? We've got to put the anatomy poster in there. Do I, I'm assuming I don't have a, have a room upgrade to add just yet. Okay. Yeah, that's the diagnosis room, Betty. Now we'll need a treatment room. 
Ms. Orion will be in touch with the juicy details. Skin! Everyone has it! Unless they have an exoskeleton, or nothing at all. The Skin Lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the Skin Lab instead of a shower sometimes. My guys, <laughs> I know we missed it. What the f- <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'll build a Skin Lab. I'll try not to think about it too hard. Um... Skin lab, that is going to be four by th three. I, I like making rooms slightly bigger than they have to be. Um, that's going to be four by three as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, always pleasure. Sounds joyous. Let's make it four by four. that and then hey Jay what about some corner cabinets can I sit plants on the the thing no wall plants sure yeah the answer is almost certainly yes Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something missing. What's As missing? We're a healthcare Stop. organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. Recruitment director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently yes. have old and human candidates, Wait. and are restricted to them for reasons which Wait. I can assure you are culturally sensitive. We've got twitch I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. Definitely hiring a Paphos. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like, even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. And not me, mister. Excellent work. Your not yet. Your will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work. Right. And more experienced doctors. doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis. So do be sure not to overhire and inflate your expenses. Oh, I would say I might have overhired. of rooms and doctors, director. That will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. Collect rewards, don't mind if I do. Hey! So we got credits. Low might used to apply a special unlocks from the Galactic Exchange. A human influence and craftium. Ooh, you used to craft room upgrades, craftium. We're ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Open hospital. Ready to begin? Yes. Would you like to open your hospital? Once open, it cannot be closed again. And away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. 
It began with crop circles and cow abductions and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s earth culture, surf rock, and traditional gender roles. Good, good. Um, species desires, well-decorated rooms, and curious decorative objects throughout the hospital. Okay. We have our first patient. Oh, God damn it. I want to see my patient. Let's see. Humans. Humans. We love them. Mm. They are us sometimes. Mm. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete treatments. Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. So that's great. Uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. Hey, capitalism's a bad guy. Sir, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. Can we get... Are there chairs? They're like benches or something? Seating. I've played enough theme hospital to know that we need we need seating. Oh god, they have a queue as well. Hold up. Actually, you know what? Whenever you end up with guests. Delete that. I know, I know you want a reception. I'm trying to give you a reception, but I'm trying to give you... There we go. Oh, that person's just like... That's so cool. Wait, do we need any more rooms? Surely they don't all have the same ailment. I also feel like we might need a second one of these rooms. Um. That is a room. I know. Required. I don't think we can have. We, I don't think we have a boning chamber yet. Bone! Thank you. We definitely need one. boning chamber what are you right hang on how do i get a boning chamber <laughs> loads of people want a boning chamber but i can't this by doing something that I my mess is have I broken this somehow because he's been inspected I 
can't have broken it already. Watch me. Do you think I did it because I replaced the reception desk? Inspect them again. Yes. Behold the patient panel. I've highlighted the condition track. This fellow's condition requires Thank us you, to be reboned. Uh, Appreciate. That, we'll read a boning chamber. Boning. We're good. I thought I'd kept on him already. The boning chamber. A the retrofitted mining chamber? machine, which chomps fresh, minty new skeletons directly into our patients. A An assistant engineer fitted machine. the schematic with internal cameras. For personal reasons, that'll teach me to poach staff from Salazan. Thanks, anyway, fam. that's Appreciate. all fixed, and it's mostly safe. Mostly. You should totally say boning more, hundred percent. Ah, the boning chamber, a fine room indeed. I do rather admire the machine in there. Rather charming, actually. I think I'll call him Harold. I'm the foggiest idea why. Oh, is that a reference I don't I don't know? Decorations. Boning. Boning. Is that a reference I don't understand? Probably. Tower large. Ooh. Okay, right. We'll find that. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom I'm I'm not sure. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and 10, running, 000. let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect yeah, one of our doctors for... to grasp the full extent of their needs. Hang on, I'm gonna um I wanna buy a new doctor. Rosa Tequila, Fred Mank, Kate, Sparrow. Oh, it's got to be Sparrow. Um. Right, let's click on a doctor. Let's see how Dr. Not Me Mister is doing. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, no. whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs like hunger and energy are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. Different Kate. Different Kate, Kate. You're not the only Kate. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit in everything. Ground. We considered a mindfulness cue, but people found the idea nightmarish. My apologies. So they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. Great de-stressor. We'll need to build a staff lounge, lest our employees descend into absolute madness. See, we should also ensure madness. we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. Right, shall we put it down here? Yes.
place at least one staff lounge crop. I don't know that we... Oh, that's... That's big. Very 70s. Okay, place vending machines. What are these? X Pulse vending machines. X Pulse for extreme first. Disclaimer comes with risk of extreme tachycardia. Folks, I'm a need. Informing. I can move myself. What's extreme tach tachycardia? the heart is that heart attack tachycardia increased heart rate okay um toxin vending machine zap your cream possibly your liver with a can of toxin oh it's toilet ports okay cool um Oh, they're really nicely designed. I really like the way that they're designed. Oh, they're beautiful. I love it. Um, a bin. Um, a bin. And... The required facilities have been installed and the number of organics who've relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided like that's everything really organics place. need for a state of mild comfort. Objective complete! Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of vomit. The robot is waving. Medi, are you waving? Are you waving your awful little hands? It appears that Medi wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry, I doubt it has much to say. Of heal. Hello, new director. It's me, Medi. Heal says I'm a toaster. And that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. <laughs> yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, Director, but you may rest assured that, that Lady has no clue what's going on. I well, know. I guess so. Also, he'll keep saying I'm a fake boy, and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend. Mary, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do. Because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Bugger me. What in the world is going on? Hello there. I think it's okay, Heel. It's just a really big alien. First of all, Mary, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. In the absence of any better ideas... Oh my god, I'm in love. Perhaps it's best to, uh, pick up the phone. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica. I am Bazanoros Orgoria. Baz is also fine, in the interests of brevity. I developed these painful glowing spots about mm, 4,000 years ago. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Baz. Director. This is an opportunity we can't pass up. Colossals are notoriously elusive. Few even get to talk to them, let alone get all up in their biology. Let's help him out. First, you'll need to dispatch a ship from the shuttle bay to take a biopsy. That'll let us take a look at all the deliciously novel gubbins inside our new friend. Dispatch shuttle, okay. 
How does one go about doing that? The shuttle that? is primed and ready for your launch like order. Like that! Director. Sometimes a problem is too big for the hospital and you need to dispatch a shuttle in order to deal with it in the vacuum of space. You can do this by clicking the icon above the shuttle bay. Copy that. That makes life a lot easier. And away she goes! Our shuttle will collect the sample from Baz via a gentle, non-invasive surgical translocation beam. It feels great. Like scratching an itch. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Ooh, Thank you, bitch. That feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. Oh, I love his design. The shuttle is back with the sample we just took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in an adorable canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do, just with less, you know, brains. We'll need to send it We're to diagnosis seeing. to figure out our next steps. Remember, you can always select the relevant task in the objective window for more information. Director, we'll want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Okay, okay. Hit the priority button here to make sure the canister is seen to as quickly as possible. Prioritizing a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, no, anything you like really, but emergencies in particular. Copy that. Do we not have any doctors working? Right, well, let's hire some doctors. Who do we have? Sparrow. Uh, Rosa. Project all, I want more doctors. Fed Manx here. What doctor can I get here? They, we've just had those people. If you come up, do you come with wheels? We'll have to find out. Okay. Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven think we need another, proteins. Um, this will redefine our understanding of what meat can be. Room. Despite his freaky space flesh. I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with a new cocktail from our skin lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. Okay, there's a big queue for the skin lab, we're copying it. Uh, copy room. There we go, room copied. One with this room. I'm sure it's fine. I don't want to kill anyone. Oh, there's a big queue here as well. Maybe we open another area. So many cues. I think the um, the Twitch integration might need a little bit of um, uh, might need a little bit of love. Heal? Some mean 
looking mollusks just entered the hospital. Yes, Betty. Uh, those are vomit tongues. They'll bite any sapience they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Director, Medi is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomit tongues himself. But if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from Someone our died. mortal coil. <laughs> Just a, a little death-based pun for your private enjoyment. We lost a person. They died because of a malfunction in the skin lab. Oops. Just to clarify, it wasn't on me. No, but I appreciate you asking. decoration we can decorate I can decorate how about seating that is our also planned brimming with our new colossal regeneration fluids and waiting in your docking bay let's get them sent out I can't wait to see if this works if it doesn't we may all be going to jail <laughs> exciting the shuttle can launch on your command director Excited about a potential prison sentence, eh? She's away. Keep an eye on the display, Director. We'll see the fruits of our labors any moment now. Oh, that medicine of yours really hits the spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you. And there's the proof. And before I go, I collect trinkets. Things traded or earned. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. Thanks, Bass. Stabilize postpones untimely death, allowing additional time for treatment may cause um hair loss. Interesting. I'm off. Thank you, Galactic Hair. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Well, we've just treated a higher dimensional talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down and map out these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully right. replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you Yeah, this guy's dying. Uh, like, die. my you guy. Really more, you can make use of the craftium we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. Um. Oh no, he might be better now. He's getting treated. He's getting treated. We're okay. We're okay. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Do we have any objectives at the moment? No, we're just going to keep going. Our goal we'll just is to provide the best possible shit. healthcare service, and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating. Open the hospital rating panel now, and let's have a browse. Oh no, my star rating's going down. Welcome okay. to the hospital rating screen. Here, we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital. Not Someone to worry. died. Should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints, as well as admire the potential rewards you can earn. One definitely Feel free does. To peruse the remaining tabs at your leisure, or close the panel when you're ready to proceed. 
People are queuing. The, most... the more patients you treat, the more people will become embedded. A step which we can surely all get behind and which you can track on this panel. Rupert is bad. He's not dying anymore. He's not dying anymore. We got a result. <laughs> Uh, treatment quality is there bad. There are many ways patients can expire. Uh, long waits, ineffective treatments, and, and so on. This panel will let you review the current factors affecting patient health and thereby tell your mood you is what 69, needs which is the best mood. Digestive systems, the pernicious sense of self, all the tricky nuances of meaty life need to be satisfied by facilities. And this panel will help you track which ones are most needed. My staff are okay, though. This panel tracks how well you're fulfilling the needs of your staff. Yeah, all right. The galaxy is home to many kinds of species, all with their own distinct desires. Uh, humans, for instance, quite enjoy decorative objects which remind them of home. Okay, cool. Director, Ms. Orion has sent over the details of a new room. Something about uh, investing in people. What a novel concept. You guys really don't... What am I, what am I doing? Ordinary decorations are poor. Listen, guys. I'm working with what I have right now. Do you want plants? I can do plants. Not that many plants. Cheer up. Cheer up with this arbitrary positioning of random director. plant. Shut up! <laughs> you get real mad. Suddenly big mad. Okay, sure. The training room is an environment in which our staff can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing with the memories of experts it in the field. Away. It can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to I fully love absorb, him. as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. Okay. Um, I know where this is going. People can be trained with other people's memories? Can I go? No. Director, let's get a training room built so we can help our staff become their best selves. I am Whether doing the like tutorial. Any, like, plants? Curious decorations. Yeah, you can't fit in here. You can, though. That'll do. A fine, fresh training room. Now, let's teleport a doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. Can I put a doctor in? Hey, you, doctor! I love the way that everything's coming into the space, these people! Everfist, get training! What? Director, heal? There's a little creature floating around in here. Should I zap it? That's a Solark. Uh, director, these... So dogs are attracted by clean and tidy corridor doors. Collecting them will grant you 3,500 credits. Credits are entirely harmless. And will deposit a large number of credits into our account when Yoink. you catch them. That's why they can open accounts of their own. I'm... The banking sector is a disaster. Oh my god. I love this game. I love it so much. Hello again, Galactica. Hi, Bass. Where are I you? I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares. It, it is. It is. It is. Um, space theme hospital. Space two point hospital. It's fantastic. Browser, I'll exchange any item for some credits. Purchase and just for you, hollow there's dog always a freebie. Right now, okay. I've got a hollow dog, I think you call it. Oh, and I've also got a Medibot. 
Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase I'll, I'll an take item, him. and I'll transport it over to your inventory. As for the hollow dog, I must insist that you take it. He keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. Magical. Welcome to your hospital inventory. Here you'll find a variety of craft tech items which can be used to upgrade your rooms, keep your corridors clean and even rescue patients from the brink of death. You'll also be able to make use of any craftium you collect to correct to craft any more of any craft deck item you've encountered and salvage any items you don't want to use. The hollow dock emitter Baz has gifted us is a valuable piece of kit, a room upgrade. Place it in one of our treatment rooms and it'll kick into action. Hollow docks are driven by advanced predictive AI. They're not sapient and thus require neither pain nor rest. This would make them perfect doctors if not for the limitations on their AI, which prevent them from learning or demonstrating any personality whatsoever. These qualities do make them excellent corporate executives, however. <laughs> Oh, what a silly game. Ah, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when you're ready. I think it's Apaphos. No, it's Dr. Not Me Mister. Level one doctors will start out as trainees. And upon reaching level two, you're able to assign them an expertise, which will allow them to work far more effectively in one specific room. Not me, Select mister. Do you want to work in the... Do you want to have an expertise in boning? Here, you options for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Would you like expertise Choose in boning, not me, mister? <laughs> Is this happening? <laughs> it's a fine choice. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Wait, who's this? Soccer's got a. Um, Soccer can do skin lab. And I think that's a. I think this is a Pathos over here. Yep. That's place. You can have Better diagnosis, the Pathos. haven't yet covered is Phony expert modes. at your service. Hey, that's me! Yes, it it's is. Very well uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. Okay! Oh, hang on, wait a second. Let me... Damp out all of these... creatures. Hi, Medibot. Here, we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibot in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous director. We'll just do normal. It's it's fine. Cool. Shall we? You can have room maintenance prioritized. We've kitchen. completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work. Hey, Scoops. Um, you have some diagnosis as well. We've got a new blueprint. Hollow dock emitter. Cool. 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 Right. And what's that? Efficiency regulator. Nice. Okay, what what are the, what's our objectives? I want to set one of my one of the little guys. Hello. You're still you don't like the deck the lack of my lack of decoration there are. Oh hello from Dorian Salazar, the CEO of Salazar. He doesn't look evil at all in the slightest. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, a very fine day to you, sir. You're through to the director's office. If you're a robot, well that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible problems. My workers were performing an orbital trash discharge, and in a totally <laughs> unforeseeable very... disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies had walked into some manner of transparent slime. Here then is my offer to your fine company. 
If you're able to keep some workers alive for their shifts tomorrow, I'll send you some space money. Of course. Space money. We'll send over a contract and then we can... That won't be necessary. Good luck to you and goodbye. Well, that's delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. Tits. Okay. Save the Salazonians! Right, what are we supposed to do? Shall I hire some more doctors? Um... Better decorations as well. Galactic exchange. I've got how many? I've got twenty-five. Put. I'm not wasting it. I can't waste. Uh, go back to the galaxy map. No. Greetings, director. Let me. Director, the emergency patients from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. We'll be lucky if most of them don't oh. drop dead in the corridor. Oh, Let's save are. as many as we can. Where are they? Where we are they? Here they are. Them so they're seen to as quickly as possible. And I think now's the time to use that stabilizing solution we received from Baz. You a doctor? Hello. <laughs> Husband, it's you. Hello. You came in with Celia Pork. Right. Do not kill husband. Do not kill husband. Do not kill husband. It's a mantra that I use very regularly. <laughs> We're doing research. Priority patients. Do we need another diagnosis room, do you think? No, we don't have the... Don't be dead. Come on, Celia. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive! 
This is Dorian Salazar expressing some legally mandated gratitude that you managed to save one of those workers. Their colleagues appreciate you. Keep it up and so on. Thanks, Dorian Salazar. Craft tools are attracted by well-decorated rooms and corridors. Collecting them will grant you 50 craftium. Oh, very tidy. Loma balls are attracted by positive vibes and happy patients. Collecting them will grant you one Lomite. And I will never see another one of those again. No positive vibes. No vibes. No happy patients. Three of those workers have now informed us that they'll be ready for work in two hours. Rather better than expected, Galacticares. Saves us a good bit of time on ordering new interns. Amazing, incredible, breathtaking. Donk. Leveled up. <gasps> Dr. Little Biggin. I didn't even know we had a Dr. Little, Little Biggin, but we do. Um, husband, would you like to be in the boning chamber? <laughs> That's a proposition I never thought I'd say. <laughs> oh, screen. Welcome to my boning chamber. consultant let's see my staff seven whole workers have returned to my warm bosom i don't know where you get your mojo but you know your health care never ever i can say categorically i wish to say categorically but i've never propositioned anyone by inviting them to a bony chamber however <laughs> you get behind that treating all the emergency patients right they just need to be taken away cracking work galactic cares you've saved legal a lot of man hours i just got achievement insurance payments i'm sending you the agreed upon dosh and a vinyl of my newest album a novel delight for any aficionados of smooth jazz <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Quite the we right did it. direction. Chapter one, I'm up to complete. open your gland and new data. Either that or I'm overdosing on hypercalf. I'm going to dive right into genome mapping Baz. His cells keep phasing through the collector, so it might take a bit of tinkering. He'll will apprise you of our next job. But for now, thanks for making this real. You're bringing our dream to life. Now, let's change the galaxy. Yes, Excellent let's. work, Director. Ms. Orion seems thrilled, and we've already booked another contract. A music festival in Earth space, if you can believe it. What's a music festival? Heal. In this case, Medi, I dread to imagine. Earmuff mode on standby. I'd rather your circuits weren't blown out by exposure to odian harsh noise. Director, should you prefer to hang about and continue working in your fine hospital, we'll remain on site with you until you choose to move on. 